Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 20. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel invites us into a transformative encounter between Jesus and his disciples. It's an encounter that reveals profound truths about his identity and his foundational role of faith in our lives. In the midst of their journey, Jesus turns to his disciples and he asks a question that echoes throughout the ages. Who do people say that the Son of Man is? The disciples share various opinions that are circulating out there about Jesus, but it is Peter who speaks with conviction, affirming, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter's words reverberate with very deep significance. His words mark a pivotal moment, a recognition of Jesus as the long-awaited Messiah, the embodiment of God's promise. This is a time of great joy. This is a confession that becomes the bedrock upon which Christ's church is built. Just as Jesus asks his disciples, he poses that same question to each of us today. Who do you say that I am? Our response shapes the way that we relate to Jesus. It's a question that calls for introspection and prayer, inviting us to embrace our own understanding of Christ's identity for our own lives. Peter's confession emerged from a heart that was open to the Spirit's revelation. It was a moment of profound faith. And similarly, our own faith is not merely intellectual, but it is relational with Jesus, a journey of encountering Christ personally and then recognizing him as the center of our lives. In response to Peter's confession, Jesus declares that upon this rock, he will build his church. This rock symbolizes the foundation of faith, a faith that acknowledges Jesus as the cornerstone of our lives, the sure foundation upon which we stand today. As we journey together in our faith, let us echo Peter's profound confession. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. May our faith be the cornerstone upon which we build our lives, a faith that embraces transformation, a faith that acknowledges Christ as the center, and a faith that guides us towards eternal hope. And so today, let's pray that the grace of God will strengthen our understanding of Jesus' identity and deepen our commitment to living as his disciples. <music> 